Hello all, it's Bo Realmscaster here to talk to you a little bit about racing. Something a little different for today's podcast. I wanted to do a vidcast. So as you can see, I'm actually in the game right now. Uh, I've been working a lot on my racing quest, and eventually I actually gained the cup. So I want to kind of take you through my journey, uh, my epic, epic quest to, to get the cup. And it was really interesting, really frustrating at first. Uh, to give you a little glimpse into how I did, let's just get right to the racing, shall we? So as you can see here, I'm enjoying my new car. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's fast, it's furious, it looks great. And it uh, does well on the turbo. Uh, the turbo is handy, but you have to be careful about using it too much or you're going to slam into the walls and stuff. So you have to be really, really uh, careful about how much you use it, especially with this new car. Uh, or any of the new cars, the 700 level station cash cars. Uh, so it took me a while to learn that. Uh, what I, what I, one trick I found that really worked well was that I would just uh, take the first two or three times on the track as just a trial run. I wouldn't even worry about winning. I would just kind of, you know, try to figure out the track and see how it went. Uh, and of course, the missiles always help. I'm not the best shot with the missiles though, so I would miss quite a bit. Uh, but occasionally I would get one. The missiles are great if you're lucky enough to use them uh, properly, but I'm a pretty poor shot most of the time. But uh, you know, they do get the person out of your way and then you can continue on the race. Also, don't be afraid to use the jump. The jump is great because if you're about to, you know, run headlong into somebody, you can just jump right over them. At first there was some uh, real problems with the difficulty of a lot of these racers, especially for the younger racers out there, if you know what I mean. We heard a lot of complaints about it, and then they put out a patch to kind of uh, adjust the uh, difficulty level. I didn't really see any difference. I, I saw the biggest difference in spinning some station cash, and during the quest, of course, you're going to have the NPCs telling you to constantly spin station cash, but it's not a bad idea. Put 5 or $10 in, and you're going to see a heck of a difference. But after all that racing, I definitely needed a break. You can do whatever you want to do. You. However you want to. So you, what's your name? What's your name? Do you have a, do you have a boyfriend? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, dancing. Yeah. Oh, boy. I'm gonna puke. So after a well-deserved break, I got right back into the racing, but uh, I, I would uh, had to visit the garage first, and I'd recommend anybody to do that. So I'm going to take this here and put it down. I'm going to take some turbo. Uh, that's a pretty car. I like how she's looking. That's very nice. After visiting the garage and outfitting your car, and make sure that you're outfitting your car with the correct uh, parts for the race. You know, slick tires, better steering, stuff like that. I actually found out that the turbo was a little bit too much for my faster car, so I took the turbo off and put uh, extra armor and stuff, which was really handy. Of course, sometimes you're going to just get into a good old-fashioned wreck, which I am pretty good at doing as well. And this is going to show you how the turbo can really kind of mess everything up where you're going to slam right into the wall and then you're not going to be able to go anywhere. Uh, so you really have to watch how much you use that turbo. And of course the turbo can help you, but it can also just barely not be there. So I was having a lot of fun, the frustration level was a little bit high, but overall I was having a real blast. I finally got to the last quest, and let's just play a little bit of the race for you, see how I did.
so as you can see I finally did pretty well not bad huh at least for an amateur uh, funny thing is is after you finish these quests you're only only like 19 and a half you're not even quite level 20 it's a little strange uh, but you could easily knock out those last uh, bits of experience so that you can achieve level 20 I haven't done it yet for some reason I guess I should be going in a doing that but to be honest with you I've had my share of racing for a little while the racing is really fun I'm glad they adjusted the difficulty level I haven't tried the crash em up derby cars yet and I think I need to try that next uh, it looks like a lot of fun but of course there's one last thing that I needed to do excuse me ah oh I see so I won thank you I got a driving helmet, a lightning cup. Oh, a lightning cup. All right, I'm going to see what that looks like here. Put that on here. There it is. And it's a acorn. Looks like an acorn. Um, hmm. So I got an acorn for a prize. Interesting. Still, it's been a lot of fun. The racing is definitely worth checking out. It's definitely a job worth leveling. Uh, it flies by. But like I said, take your time. You know, try out the tracks a little bit a few times just to see how they kind of work out. You don't have to win it from the very beginning. Some of them are easier to win than others. And the real challenge doesn't come until level 15 or 16. So enjoy yourself. Go check out the racing. And I'll probably see you on the track sometime soon. This has been RealmsCast. I'll see you next time for a normal audio episode. Enjoy. Hi, um, RealmsCast. I just wanted to leave a little tip for one of your shows in racing um you can actually race alone and you can do this which and by racing alone you um raise up your level faster thanks bye